I am so honored to have this opportunity, honestly, because every conversation I have with you, I learn something. And I would really like to welcome you to this space as we have these conversations on renewable energy. So, Mr. Eli Sarko, how are you doing? I'm very well, thanks, in Tombi, and you? I am great. Good, good, good. Um, You're looking as beautiful as ever. I, I know, say. handsome. Tell me all about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Eli, I'd like um, to start with an introduction of how you would describe yourself to somebody that doesn't know who Mr. Eli Sarko is. Well, Ntombi, I'm nobody special. I'm just somebody that works exceptionally hard at what I believe in. Mm -hmm. And very often I fail, which you don't see. You only mm -hmm. see the successes. The two successes, main successes, are Eli's Electronics and LSAT. But I can assure you, I've had plenty, plenty, plenty failures that no one sees. So whenever there's something that doesn't work well, it gets swept under the carpet. When there is something that works well, you become a hero, mm. which is wrong. That's because so it's true. just trial, trial and error. But um, I'm very, very excited about the solar. I'm uh, really happy that you highlighted that, that there were many failures uh, before the successes or even during and even after. Because a lot of people think that you just become successful and certain things you will always get right because you are the genius uh, Mr. Eli Salko. So with that mentioned, I'd like you to also tell us a little bit about your background. Because people have a tendency of thinking that you become successful because um, you come from a comfortable background, everything was handled, handed to you on a silver platter so can you just touch on that a little bit yeah of course so um i wasn't exactly a genius at school either mm -hmm. i got a standard eight uh, i didn't get my matric but um that was due to i had to go and work um i was also very naughty at school <laughs> and i did well. get <laughs> i did get expelled but it was i wanted to because i had to go and work to support my mother my father died when i was 12 so i got brought up very very poorly and maybe that's why i always had this ambition to make money but now that i've made it it definitely isn't about money mm -hmm. it's about seeing other people benefit from what you're actually doing and there's nothing more fulfilling than selling solar nothing when we leave a house and that person's got tv can charge their cell phone a few lights wi-fi etc etc and they're living like human beings which they should be mm. which is their, their right as a human being as a south african citizen to have electricity but they're not getting it because eskom didn't provide it or they blame it on cable theft or over supply or overloading or, or there's or, always, or, something there's always some excuse for it yeah you get your solo you put it up it's there for life panels come with a 25 year guarantee that they'll last for 25 years um, so it's a, a very very good investment and for those people who haven't got it try it on a small the smallest level that you can just that you understand it and you'll see how great it, it honestly is awesome stuff and also i want to before we we dwell more into the solar part of things can you just also tell me how you managed um to build an empire that is um Ellie's? I think it's a lot of hard work and a lot of luck. I mm. think you've got to be lucky as well. You know, you, the harder you work, the luckier you get. I mean, I used to work 24-7, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And I'm going to do the same again with solar. And, and this time, not for money. This time, just for satisfaction of seeing people enjoying what they should rightfully have. I love what you just said now that luck comes with um, a lot of hard work and being in the right spaces at the right time because yes. if you're just chilling at home like what are the chances no chance. of you bumping into anything even no if chance. it's by how luck. would i have met you exactly exactly my point um so with that done you've succeeded before i continue actually at, at what age did you start with ellie's 26 26 and you retired at 65 yeah you've made all the money that you you wanted to make uh, but you just felt I'm not ready to just sit and not do anything. So you ventured now into this into the space of renewable energy. You've given birth to the baby that is Invest Solar. What 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 motivated um, that move for you? 
And Tommy, I've been with Solar for 20 years at least. At Ellie's, I was with, I started Solar at least 20 years ago. Oh, okay. But panels were very expensive. That's the actual solar panel that you put on the roof. Mm -mm. Um, for an example, we used to pay 20 rand per watt. A panel is measured in wattage. So you get different size panels. You get 10 watt, 50 watt, 100 watt, 200 watt. They're going up to even 800 watts now. Uh, they aren't ready yet, but they'll be in production soon. Okay. But <coughs> we were paying 20 rand a watt. So if a panel was 100 watts, we were paying 2,000 rand. We'd have to sell it at 3,000 rand, just a figure. Today we're paying 5 rand a watt. So that panel is costing us 500 rand as a... We're selling at 500 rand, sorry. So that same what we were paying 20 rand a watt, we're now selling at 5 rand a watt. It's a different world. Now so instead you can, of 20, now it's 5 rand. Exactly. And it was 20 how long ago? 12, 14 years ago. Now it's gone all the way down to... To 5 rand a watt. Selling. That's what we charge for it. So it makes sense to actually convert to, to, to solar. If you don't, and Tombi, I'm a salesman, I'm born a salesman, but I'm telling you the truth. If you don't, you are crazy. You really are crazy. <coughs> Take your electricity bill, have a look at it. If you're paying 300 Rand a month, 600 Rand a month, 1200, 2000, whatever you're paying a month, why are you paying it? For what? Because once you've paid it from your the system, sun, you are done. You're you done. never have to pay a cent. <coughs> Ever again. Yes. So let's let's just talk about a system that costs 20 grand for a discussion. Mm -hmm. Let's say that you're paying a thousand rand a month electricity now. You carry on paying your thousand rand a month to your solar. In mm -hmm. 20 months your solar is paid. There's and it. That's it. You home and dry. You don't see any load shedding. You don't see cable theft. You don't hear nonsense. All you do is a little bit of a life adjustment. What is that? Two things. Cook on gas and shower on gas. That's all. And Other it than that, it changes your life forever. Forever. It saves you money forever. Forever. You could be doing other things. Why aren't people, people doing it? I now, guess people don't know enough as well. People are not educated enough on on solar systems, on renewable energy. Like you say, in twenty years ago, a panel would cost um, twenty rand per watt. watt, and people then thought it was expensive. So people automatically still think that it's 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 expensive. But what I get actually talking to you, I'm smiling by myself because I'm just admiring your passion. You know, the point of today's conversation was me getting to know you more personally as Mr. Eli Salko, but your passion always drives you back to the business and giving back and how you can change people's lives. And I really, really think that is amazing. And I want to know though that as as, as Mr. Eli Salko, as, as a person, going forward now, you're over 65, you had to retire here, you started a new business. What What is your vision now going forward? You know, when I get into bed at night, I dream. And I think that if a person doesn't dream, they've got no life. It's the you end. know what I mean? You have to dream. What do you want to be in Tombi, the best presenter in the world? Uh, I don't know what your dreams and aspirations are, but when you get into bed and you're dreaming, you must know you're alive. And if I can dream to be one person or one percent of one person, it would be Elon Musk. Elon Musk, when you Got a few moments. Look at Elon Musk on TV and you'll see what a... You talk about a, him every day. We were talking about him yesterday as well. Because he's too good. <laughs> this guy is I too... Know. He actually gives back. So, I mean, I know I shouldn't be talking about Elon, but I'll just give you a few things that he's done. No, I think it's very good because it teaches people that you can fi identify people that have walked the same path as, as the one that you'd like to walk so that you know what the do's and don'ts basically going forward. So it does help. A lot. So Elon, just for an example, goes into America and takes on um, the most ridiculous things. For example, Tesla cars. So he knew nothing about cars, didn't know what his Bring challenges were or whatever. Yeah. Goes into it and starts Tesla, which is now the biggest <coughs> electric car manufacturer in the world. Not only that, he starts a factory building the batteries so that the cars can get driven further. Not only that, he starts building tunnels uh, under LA so, to control the Where traffic. Where does it stop? Where does Then this car goes stop? to Mars. <laughs> then he competes with NASA and actually beats them at their own game. 
You know what I mean? You're talking Crazy. about a guy who is beyond comprehension. Limitless. Now, if I can do 1% of what he's done and spread solar across Africa, my God, I'll die we'll happy. happy. I'll die the happiest man in the world. And it's you possible. can come to my funeral and you'll Nothing see me is smiling. Impossible. <laughs> Nothing is impossible. Well, I'm going to give it my best shot, eh? No, that's beautiful. I love that about you because you always want to, 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 to change the next person's life. And also, I was talking about your passion just now, how I am inspired by your work ethic. You know, I look at you, we've been working together. Um, you are at the office every single day. You are never a minute late and you are hands-on in everything that happens um, at work. How do you still do it? Because you know a lot of people will build businesses, you'll place people in the different departments and you trust the, the heads of those departments to keep things running and you just oversee things, you know, and you don't have to be at the office every day, but you are there every single day and you are never late. What keeps you going? What, what, what motivates you? What drives you? What gives you the energy to never stop at what you do? Just love being with people, sitting and talking to you now. Mm. Would I want anything more in love? What would I want? What, what can I dream of? Meeting people, talking to people, learning from people, getting with, uh, getting, <laughs> um, you know, knowledge and just living, that's what drives me. Do you me. also maybe have the fear of things might fall apart if I'm not there, things might not go as planned? No, I, I trust the people that work there. So it has nothing to do with that? No, I enjoy it. Okay. And the most important thing is the... The pictures. The pictures. Can we see the pictures? <laughs> I'll just give you an you example. see the pictures. You know, we do installations for people. I know. So, just... Yesterday, um, I think I know the pictures. I, I know what you're going to show me. Do you? Our I happy think I sent it. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Okay, so it's a picture like that. We did an installation yesterday. Um, okay. I don't know if you can see this. So, and I can um, show you hundreds take, more. Just take our viewers through the picture because I know what it's about. It's something that excites us every single day um, in the office, and that's why we even share the pictures. So, if you can just take the viewer through the picture, what it says to you, what it means to you. Okay, this young lady lives in Orange Farm, mm -hmm. um, and she hasn't had a reliable electricity source for at least two years because of overloading of the transformers and cable theft and Eskom coming and taking down the transformers, etc, etc, etc. But now suddenly she's got electricity again. And it will never be interrupted. It won't be interrupted. It can't be interrupted. As long as that sun shines, she's got electricity. It is God given. God Why given. Why are we putting ourselves through all this pain and suffering though? I honestly God don't understand it. I really don't. But this it's, is the beginning of great things, Mr. You don't Andy. understand how great. I know, trust Mrs. me. Mrs. Tombi, you Trust don't. Mr. Salko, listen, trust me, I know. Okay. And I just want to thank you for the time. And I want to thank given. you for being part of us. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. But uh, putting words in closing, a message to the people, everybody that's watching, what would you like to say? I'd like to say, guys, go solar. It pays, it's reliable, it's clean, it's wonderful. Try it and see. And it's affordable. And it's affordable. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Invest in Solar powered by Invest Solar. And this morning, or I did have a beautiful chat with Mr. Eli Salko. We'll be coming back with more definitely. So stay tuned on all our social media platforms at Invest Solar ZA. At Invest Solar ZA on all social media platforms. And we'll make sure that you will be informed and you will be educated. And by the time we're done, with you you will know absolutely anything and everything you need to know about solar adios Mwah.